Hello and welcome to another Extreme Super Ultra review. This time it's the Curious Expedition. Joining me today will be Four Hamner. What's up? Hello. Not a lot. Cool. So the Curious Expedition. What is it about? Uh, so the Curious Expedition is a roguelike resource management type game in the same vein as uh, FTL. It's the gameplay itself is not at all similar to FTL, but uh, it has a lot of the same emergent gameplay where early on the game is simple and so you kind of you know go out of your way to explore and acquire more resources to be used much later on in the game so the curious expedition puts you as the head of an old like um uh you know explorers group that you read of in a lot of like colonial england type settings uh it's not always necessarily i guess in english Expedition, you're always coming out of England, but you can pick from a wide range of expedition leaders with unique abilities that really can affect how um, well your expedition goes. And I think they're all people from real history. I don't recognize most of the names, but you have people like Nikola Tesla or Harriet mm. Tubman or other people like that. Um, so the, the, the overall thing of the game is basically it's you and three or four other NPC expedition teams, and you're scheduled to do six expeditions total, and at the end of the six, whoever has the most point wins. I've only played the game for a few hours, and I have yet to survive all six expeditions. I think the farthest I've got is Expedition 5, during which I've died. Um, does it have like a uh, punishing, rewarding kind of game? play yes it's it's very i mean because the resource management is very heavy it's basically like, like an ftl whenever you do anything whenever you move it costs fuel so you have you can't just like go willy-nilly and explore here it's the mm. same any movement you do one it probably costs resources from your inventory because a lot of the resources in the game um basically moving across tiles costs the resource of sanity um you don't manage food you manage sanity the longer you're on the expedition the crazier you get so a lot of resources um, reduce the sanity cost of moving on certain tiles. Like, moving through a jungle costs sanity. If you have a machete, it costs less sanity, but you're consuming your machetes as you move through the jungle. So it's a lot of this constant drain for everything you do. And that's... Um, and basically, the point is, on an expedition, is to find the temple. If you find the temple, you, you know, finish the expedition. And as the expeditions get higher in number, the bigger the area is for you to search. Does does previous playthroughs make the next one easier or something? The because only, you unlock stuff? The only way it affects the previous one affects the next one is unlocking possible uh expedition leaders. Other than that there's nothing at all. Um although um for your oh sorry. Sorry, yes. For expeditions, yes it does. Um, I mean, like, so each game has no input on the other, other than unlocking a leader. For the for the six expeditions that make up one game, uh, the things that carry over are any people you've recruited to your party, and they can level up. Uh, your inventory stays the same, so if you get a lot of, like, rope in Expedition 1, it'll be in your inventory in Expedition 2. Um, and every time you successfully complete an expedition, you can you're you're offered three different perks, and you can choose one of those to permanently add to your repertoire. And, and the perks are very major things like reducing the sanity cost of moving through a certain tile, increasing your sanity pool, uh, making it so natives are friendlier to you, that kind of thing. So it's, so it's currently in early access for fifteen bucks. Um, is it? Okay, I thought it was out, but I believe you. Okay, so because I'm looking at the page right now, yeah. um, early access, 15 bucks. Uh, do you think there's enough content to merit 15 bucks right now? Um, I think, I think so. I mean, the, it's, however much FTL is, I mean, it's, it's very similar in scope and scale to FTL, where it's kind of just one thing that you try over and over again it's very hard like i've never beaten ftl i've never beaten that boss and i've sunk you know a fair number of hours into that game the same thing is true for this game i think i'm gonna probably play it for a bunch and who knows if i'll ever beat it um although i did just discover yesterday playing it that there was a, a kind of major feature i was missing where there's a, a certain mountainous 
zones I wasn't able to interact with. So I'm going to really focus on interacting with those because uh, the last couple expeditions are just so big. I was just going insane. Literally, in the game, my characters were going insane and leaving me and I was dying. And that was really rough. The game does have an interesting combat system. So the way combat works in the game is mm -hmm. you have your party and they're assigned dice based off of what they are. Like, there's like green defensive dice, blue kind of utility dice, and red kind of attack dice. And uh, if you have a gun in your inventory, so that'll add a die. So you have like this handful of dice of different types and you roll it and they'll show different symbols and you can combine certain symbols. Like if you have a red uh, gun attack die and a green hand uh, like defensive die, then those can combine to make a steady shot. So instead of just doing the one damage from the gun, you'll deal three damage from the steady shot or whatever. So uh, it's a little um, difficult to pick up, but it's, it's pretty cool. Like the game is very simple to actually play, but to play it well is going to take a lot of repetition so you can know how to value mm. certain actions. So you recommend it for any people that like FDL? If you like FDL, you will definitely like this game, I think. Um, I mean, unless you only like FTL for the sci-fi elements. This has a little bit of sci-fi elements because as you get in your higher expedi expeditions, things get a little more fictional, like you start encountering dinosaurs and the temples become a little bit more alien. Like, you have to go and light beacons to like open up the temples and that kind of thing. Like, not fire beacons, I mean like beacon, like giant shafts of light into the sky kind of beacon. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, so you recommend um, yeah, for anybody um, who likes this kind of genre. Any, yeah, so it's a, it's a roguelike... Um, resource exploration, management. resource management kind of thing. It's turn-based, basically. Uh, none, none of it's real-time. Uh, expect repetition. Yes, definitely expect repetition. But it is randomly generated, so like the repetition isn't mm -hmm. the same every time. You know, it's it switches up all the time. I have like my my favorite part is basically just trying out the different expedition leaders because they're really flavorful and cool. So do they affect the journey at all? Yeah, so they'll have an ability. Um, the ability is not necessarily unique to them. Like, some of their abilities you can get as perks. Sometimes they just start with an extra perk, essentially. Uh, but mm -hmm. they're also very different in that they just com they start with completely different inventories and crew setups. Like, uh, one guy starts with a soldier, a, a diplomat-type guy, a couple of flare guns, and some other stuff. Uh, somebody else can start with more food, like, and more alcohol. Like, they, they just play very differently from the get-go. Ah, alright. Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, so for him, I rec recommend um, th to get the Curious Expedition if yeah. you like FTL, roguelike, resource management kind of games. I also oddly really like the soundtrack. It's very simple, but I wish I could buy it, but I don't think you can just buy it. Oh. Um, what kind of a... What, what does it remind you of? Um... I don't know, because like, the music itself sounds kind of uh, like g grandiose, and, but a little sad, but the instruments sound a little bit like synthetic. Like, it doesn't sound like an orchestra playing like this epic music. It's kind of just like a, a tiny like electronic keyboard playing it, but it just, it just appeals to me really well for some reason. I'm not a music reviewer, so I can't articulate quite why <laughs> what it is that appeals to me about the music. Okay, so yeah, that's been the Extremo Super Ultra review of The Curious Expedition. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.